Hi, I'm Michael Gaffney. I'm the director of the New York School of Flower Design. We have design schools all over the country, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, one coming to you soon. Um, I'm here today to talk about wedding flower choices, DIY. If you're going to DIY your wedding, you had better choose the right flowers. So we're going to have a little talk today about uh, what flowers to use for your, your, your DIY wedding. Um, the important thing is the flowers that will hold up, that will last for a long time. So I've got some classics on the table for an all-white wedding. Uh, uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about which ones you want to look out for. Hydrangeas, we love them. I call it America's flowers. Everybody loves hydrangeas. The problem is they tend to droop on the way to the church. So the secrets to hydrangeas are pick off the big leaves, uh, get some alum. It's a uh, powder they use for pickling and canning. Dip the stem in alum, yeah, dip it like sugar coat it, and put it in water and your hydrangeas will last a long time. So you got to get some alum. Um, number two, I've got Gerbera daisies for my Kate Spade brides, I call them. They're young, they're modern, black centers, nothing hipper. I've got roses. It's a classic. Everybody says, oh, we don't have to use roses. They're expensive. They're not expensive. They're a really usable flower these days and they're not that expensive and they hold up. They take a lot of weight, a lot of room in your bouquet. So that's good. Stock, my favorite flower. Why? Because it makes all my brides happy. I use stock in lots of my bouquets. Um, oops. Um, it comes in every color possible for every wedding, so it's a really good color choice. It, it's like a big fat lilac. It fills out your bouquets. And uh, and then I brought these along, Phalaenopsis orchids. And I brought these along to remind me to talk to you about uh, magazines. Every magazine shows Phalaenopsis orchids, ranunculus, uh, anemones, all the flowers we don't want to use. Uh, certain cities like New York and uh, San Francisco have a good healthy anemones and ranunculus for a short period of time. I, yes, I see them more than I used to, but the fact is they're not always available. Every magazine, that's all they're showing is ranunculus and anemones. They don't hold up so well. No designer really loves to work with them. And uh, these are very expensive. These can retail in the Midwest for almost $100 a stem. So one hanging in the air is 100 bucks. And then, and then the brides, you want pictures of tens of these hanging in the, in the air. That's $1,000. So I'm just saying, beware of failing off orchids. So here are my classic favorites. I love uh, hydrangeas. I love roses. I love stock. I love Gerbera daisies. I'll use freesia. I like dendrobium orchids or cymbidiums. They're smaller than this. They're hardier. Not as expensive. Um, I love fillers like wax flowers, limoniums, uh, Oh, lepto. I also love uh, certain uh, greens. I always use Pittus Porum. Go to my website, Flower School 101. They're all listed there. You'll see them. In our classes, we teach, we teach classic bridal formulas. In other words, if you go online, you'll see I have a class on bridal design. It teaches uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, patterns. So uh, I spent many, many years in a flower shop, and I figured out I called it the Da Vinci Code of Flower Designing. And, and so when I hand a bride her bouquet on her wedding day, she uh, goes, she doesn't move her eyes like, what do you want me to look at, Michael? She takes one look, goes, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Um, why? Because I'm following patterns. So, uh, But before you get to the patterns, just make sure you have the right selection of flowers. So on your bridal bouquet, consult with the guy who you're buying the flowers from. Ask him what's going to hold up all day. And then, of course, in all my schools, we talk about, um, and also in my book here, Design Star, we talk about... Um, uh, Crowning Glory, it's a spray. Every top designer in the country uses it. You've never heard of it. It's a wax sealant. It's like uh, wa candle wax in a bottle and you spray your flowers and it's like laminating, but a laminating machine. They will not dehydrate because what do flowers do? They drink and then they lose the moisture through the surface like this. So when they stop drinking, they go like this and die. So the more water you keep going up it, the longer they'll live. So Crowning Glory seals in the top. And uh, my tips for the water, on, if you're doing your own wedding, is a little bit of bleach in the water, just a drop. And don't forget these and alum. Put a little alum powder in the water or dip the stem in there. So if you have any questions, uh, email us about what flowers you should use. Um, I've got lots of ideas on easy, breezy, gorgeous, top bridal bouquets that are, you can do in a minute. Again, if you're going to do your own bouquets, choose wisely, choose carefully, because you don't want to freak out and have a stressful wedding. Wedding should be an easy, lovely time for you. So if you're going to do your own flowers, uh, do a little homework, uh, choose the right flowers, get a great design together, and you can do it. Thanks.